Are you aware that you can start selling your product online to millions of potential customers out there even without you having an e-commerce website or a local store? Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Christian from Pro Digital and in this video, I will teach you how you can start selling your product online with Jumia. Jumia is one of the biggest and trusted e-commerce store in Africa with more than a million active buyers on daily basis. So imagine you selling your product on Jumia website that will invariably increase your sales growth by 100%. If you find this video resourceful, kindly type Jumia at the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. So guys, before you can start selling your product on Jumia website, you need to be a registered vendor with the company. Now to become a registered vendor, all you just have to do is uh, visit the official website of Jumia which is www.jumia.com.ng uh, as you can see on my laptop screen then you scroll down to the footer of the website so I'm trying to scroll down to uh, the footer section of the website uh, you scroll down to the footer now under make money with Jumia you see sell on Jumia then you cl click on it So when you click on sell on Jumia, you will now be directed to this web page for you to start the registration. So you scroll down a little bit where you see start selling. Click on it. Now the registration as a vendor with Jumia has about four stages. The first section is the seller account. The second section is a business information. Why the third is your bank account details. Why the fourth is summary and review of all information that you have uh, imputed. So let's start with the first section. Here we have add seller account information. What is your shop name? At this point, you may would like to know your business name. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will call it ProWeb. Digital Product Digital is my shop name. Then the second part says please select if you are an individual or business entity or company. Actually, it is not compulsory that you must have uh, a registered uh, business or a company before you can start selling your products on Jumia platform. So even as an individual, this um, platform is open for you to uh, get your product listed and start selling but for me here yeah, I my business is registered which is the product editor is registered as a business name so I'll select this good okay account manager first and last name so as the owner of the business I'm to type in my official name which is Christian Christian Obona. good my contact number which is zero eight zero sorry zero eight zero um eighty six twenty five good do you have additional number if yes you have to type it here uh scroll down a little bit now you have to in type in your email address For a gmail, gmail.com, you have to retype the same email. Okay, you type your email address, create your password. Scroll down a little bit, create your password. Check this click on continue so we have done with the first uh, model which is the seller account details now we are in the second uh, model which is business information now the first session says referred by email or referrer 
referred by email of referral sorry so at this point you're expected to tap in the email address of the person that referred you to this uh, platform so for you guys watching this video you can use my email address as your referrer which is cogbona524 gmail.com yeah you can use this email address now do you already have a shop or several shops on Jumia so if you already have an existing account as a vendor with Jumia you have to select yes but if you don't have you select no so I'm going to check no yes is if yes what is or are the shops name since I don't have any I will leave this blank I'll scroll down if yes okay I don't need any information here yeah at this point you have to type in your business address uh put my business address is number 14 Idris Avenue Ave Avenue uh, Banawa number 14 Idris Avenue Banawa okay coach I'm just use this well this is not my real business address so so and however this is a do me account I'm just creating town or put Kaduna right legal entity country Nigeria scroll down now the business owner first name is I'm Christian second name last name of Bona the middle name my middle name is this Chimizi. Okay. So you have to type in your date of birth. Your date of birth. Date of birth. Yeah, let's put in my date of birth. Um, this first zero six. Okay, let me take something out. Okay. Business owner or legal representative ID type. So here you have to upload your ID card. So there are different ID card options that you can upload. You can either upload your passport, which is an international passport. You can upload your NIN, voter's card and driver license. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna select national national identity number slip. Then I'll click on select file. Good. <laughs> Scroll down a little bit. Now I said if you are a business entity or company select the number of employee i'm gonna check this cc registration number so what is my cac registration number is this i'll copy it out that is if your business is registered so for those of you watching this video uh just in case your business is yet to be registered and you want to get it registered you can reach out to us so that we will assist you on your business name registration with corporate affairs commission so this section says we should upload our cac certificate so let me upload my certificate cac certificate um, certificate i think i have it in my pictures Web. good so upload a copy of your tax identification number are you VAT registered if yes check it out if no you should let no so put no which country will you ship from nigeria tax identification number so you have to type in your tax identification number so just in case you don't know how, you don't know how to go about 
getting your tiles identification number kindly drop is a message at the comment section that so that we will assist you on how to go about it okay so we're done with it i'll click on continue good so we're done with step two now we are in step three so under step three this way we're to create our account uh set up our account details but for now I'll click on skip and continue so we are at the fourth stage which is the final the final model at this point we are at this section we are expected to uh, take a review of all information that we have imputed so as you can see um automatically a seller id has been generated that means you cannot edit it so it is automatically generated by the system so this uh seller id that has been generated so that whenever you have any challenge this it, uh, whenever you have any challenge it is through your seller id that they will be able to verify and respond to your questions or your issues so let me go down gradually everything here is perfect so I'll click on start selling so this says thank you for signing up with us an email has been sent to your email account please click on the provided link to verify your email address okay so they have sent an email address to me now for them to confirm that I am not a robot so I will log into my mobile device to confirm the email address that have been sent to me sorry so guys i've been able to verify the link sent to my email address now at this point i'm expected to log in to my account my vendor account to, to log into my account as a vendor so that i can start uploading my product and edit any other information that i wish to change so my email address is this uh right i think it's perfect 524 at gmail that's called my password still remain the same So guys, this is how the dashboard of the vendor's account look like. So let me start from my left hand side, which is the coach. So you click on coach. This way you stand out for recommendation. And the second one is product. Under this product section, this way you can manage your products, create new products, import. If you want to create creating or importing, sorry, if you want to start um, uploading your product on Jumia website, you click on create a new product and start um, imputing all your product details. Then the next one is import products, manage products, image Jumia Express. Let us go to order and see what we have there. Here you can manage all customers' orders. Then promotions, you have my promotions, all promotions, sponsored products. Then report, you can get a statistic, a statistical record of all uh, sales that you have earned for a certain period of time. You get your account statement, pricing report, and stock accounting. And that's certain, this way you can change some informations uh, concerning your data. Or your profile sorry like your profile details manage users you can add um, other people to assist you in managing your accounts manage pickers document template integration management and so on so that's how it is right at the front view you can easily um, get a quick report about what is going on to your product in the online space you can see total pending orders all orders that are pending that are yet to be delivered your rating you can see all customers uh, rating best selling product you can see uh, among the list of your products uploaded the one that sells the most and new product creation in the last 14 days all product that you have recently uploaded will appear there 
so that's all about how you can start selling your products on Jumia. please and please if you like this video kindly give it a thumbs up hit the subscription button and smash the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever we create great content like this in the future i am chris i am pro digital